Hi guys, welcome for a new episode of Gritty Gameplay with Eloa and Drindin. I'm Eloa, the community manager of Immersive Drift. And I'm Drindin, executive producer. Welcome everybody. In this episode, we continue our adventure still separately and we are continuing our progression through South New Haven. And we're hoping to get grouped up shortly after this. So stay tuned and we will see you on the other side. All right, friends, now we need to level up. Let's go. Do not forget to utilize your auto attack. This is something that most games have automatic, but here you have to activate your auto attack to have it work. To be in combat is not enough. And yes, we are hunting rabbits. But have you seen this rabbit? Have you seen this rabbit? This rabbit is bizarre. This rabbit is disgusting. Up a little bandage. Let's change weapon. So we've seen how it looks with a staff, and I really like it because it does have this monk feeling. But let's change our weapon and let's take the crossbow. So what is very nice is that all of your attack will work regardless of your weapon. So you can have a crossbow or you can have a staff. You're going to use the same spells. But each weapon will have a combat style that is a little bit different. And that can be uh, useful in certain situation and not at some other. The example of a range weapon is obvious, but there's other aspect to it. There's also a question of what do you prefer? The crossbow is a medium range weapon, so it's, its strength is shorter than the bow. But it's still allowed to pull or to be out of combat or to kite a little bit. Well, here, not really. <laughs> I'm not really playing very well, but that's a different story. Oh no. You shall certainly die. You can tell because he's green, which means he's much lower than me and also only a single chevron. So that kind of tells us what we need to know about uh, if we can fight and defeat any enemies. I mean, I, I was half health when I started the fight, but, uh, oh, jeepers, got another guy incoming. Let's go this way a little bit here. Oh, no. Oh. He's got a friend. Let's just see if we can't kill this one guy first. Then we'll go to the guards. Maybe swing into the Ember Ring for some juicy, fast healing. We're trying to make sense with the rewards the creatures are dropping. So don't expect to have a sword and a rabbit. All those creatures are more aimed for hunt, for leather, for bones. for different parts you will need for crafting. Uh, 
as well as some junk that you can sell to the merchant. I'm starting to be low in stamina, so if I want it, I could just sit down and it will allow me to rest down a little bit faster. Ah, uh, no, no, no. There's the... Uh, okay, let's try. Okay, let's try. We're going to rest first and take some food and then we're going to try to shoot. Because it's a chevron too. Dun, 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 dun. First, oh no, I don't have a soup. Okay, fine. Let's eat this. It gave me a little buff. Five in regen. So that's already that. We're going to take our crossbow and we're going to try to. Uh, here. Where I go? Target is too far. Alright. Well, the crossbow is doing quite some nice damage. So let's see. I'm not really avoiding very well. So let's take the stuff. Hopefully this will be better. Hmm. <laughs> no. Traveler health potion. We're back to the crossbow. <laughs> so if I want to run, I need to get a little bit out of combat. Here we go. Okay, okay, okay. Let's try. Let's try. Let's try. Let's try. Okay. Can I do this, guys? Okay. Let's run, let's run, let's run. Let's run. I'm out of stamina. Ah. There we go. There we go. No, I didn't want it to change weapon. Oops, misclick. Come on. Oh no! Oh! Well, if I had been less clumsy, I could have done it. Alright, the shows had won because I've been indecisive. I could have done it otherwise. But you see, here's the challenge. In this game, you can take some content that's a bit harder and if you play well, you have a chance to actually do it. Okay, so obviously no one is going to use smelling salt on me here. So I'm going to give up and this will give me the opportunity to show you the bag issue that we will have. All right, I'm responding to a hello, which will not be too far. So I'm waking up there. There we go. You can see that now my character has a wound. I have 50% wound, which means that I have 15% less hit points. I can remove this wound by sitting down at the fire and rest. So in general, when people have died, they will have to rest around the numbering. And this will be the occasion to meet other people and to maybe find friends to group with. Alright guys, so I fought something a little too hard. And I need to give up because I'm solo. I'm fighting solo. So I fought something two chevron. And I should be fighting one chevrons. So see what respawn looks like. Ooh, that's kind of ethereal. Here we 
got here? What even changes the night sky? Cool. Looks like I am at a little bit more advanced of a ember ring here. Change back to my sword and board stance here. And you'll notice I have some wounds over here. And uh, those wounds basically take away your maximum health. So if I were to regen my health up, if I weren't at an ember ring, if I were to just regen my health, it would stop at, well, it was at 15%. Um, so I'd, I'd have, you know, I'm missing 15% of my health, basically. Um, when I go to the ender, ember ring, however, I can get rid of those wounds. We'll sit here for a minute, and then you can see that we have a helpful little compass that points you towards where your bag is. So if you die, and you don't know where you are, at least you have a helpful little um, pointer that can take you right to where your backpack is. You'll see here that I have a little UI tip. Your inventory is unavailable until you find your belongings. Now, if I didn't care about this, two silver and 99 copper, these pelts, this, these health potions, I could right click on this and I could forfeit and essentially get a new bag and then I could use my inventory again. Um, I think we're going to go and search for it um, so that we can get our stuff back. I mean, come on, I got some carcasses I want. Not you. You're too yucky. Alright, so note to self, when you're playing solo, don't fight two chevrons. They will hurt you and make you cry. Alright, we are well and rested. Let's go. Let's recuperate our bag. So, you can see that I do have... A little symbol that show that my bag is gone. Your inventory is unavailable until you find your belonging. If I was thinking, okay, this has no value, it would be so hard to get my bag, too bad, I don't care, I forfeit it, I will have a new bag and it will be empty. I don't want to forfeit it now, I want to find my body, I know it was on the road, somewhere over here, and at some point I will see a little marker that will help me to find it out if I don't really remember where it was because I honestly don't really remember where... ah there we go perfect nice and I recuperate my bag there we go now I have everything back and the symbol is gone we can continue our adventure so I'm sorry if this uh, crossbow seems to be really too big. It's not really scaling properly yet. Uh, but alpha guys, okay. I could have been smarter and make a tall character instead and you will have seen nothing. But here I am. I like small characters. And she has a big crossbow. Alright. So it I like to keep a steady stream of damage going as a tank. Oh no. Our previous foe has come back to finish the job. But you know what? We can play a trick on him. You know what? I'm gonna go grab. Run out of combat. I'm gonna go grab my bag. So you can see that little arrow there. That tells me, hey, your bag's right here. Come get me. Save me. Okay. Run away. This guy will pay, even if it's not by my hand. Alright, there is an ember ring up there. Let's let this guard handle this guy. Get our health back. We'll go destroy some of these thieves. As you can see, we have discovered a new hallow. And ember ring. So if we die now and we're closest to this... We will spawn here. All right, so I'm a supporter. 
I do have the bandage, intimidate, and I need to level up. I'm just level one. One that will be level five, I will have the possibility to learn rallying call, which will be my first aura, uh, which provides uh, plus three to outgoing penetration melee in range to my group. At level 10, you will choose your specialization. Either a duelist, in the case of support, a sentinel, or a warlord. If you mouse over, you will have an explication of the spells you can expect to have when you level up this uh, specialization. The duelist is the supporter role mixed up with the striker role, so it makes more damage. The sentinel is the supporter mixed up with the defender. So it's more tanky, it will be more like a sort of paladin. And the warlord is supporter mixed up with control. Control is only available as a specialization, not as a first role. And let's see where this path is leading us. All around that. Oh, oh, oh. Is that a little plant? Yes, it is. Let's grab it. I would like to find some wood. There should be some wood somewhere. Maybe there? Uh, I don't think so. Mm. Maybe we will find some wood in this valley. Yes! Yes! Look at this! Perfect! Ask and it's given! There we go. That's exactly what I wanted. All right. So at the moment, we do not have the tool in your hands when you're doing this. But alpha, guys, right? Alpha. And we have not followed the road, but we arrived to the second camp, which is just by all those little farms. During the day, those farms are very quiet and peaceful, but at night... I've heard that sometimes there's thief that are coming to steal all those poor farmer works. His friends didn't notice. You want some of this? Quit stealing Nana's jam. That's a cool... It's got a cool helm. Look at that thing. You probably stole that too. So again, one chevron, blue, means he's lower level than me. So a reasonable challenge for a solo player. But after this, I think we should group up. We should go find a group. I think there might be an Eloa nearby that we can group up with. All right, let's see what we can do with the crafting. So in this first little camp, you have, of course, an ember ring but also an anvil where you can repair your equipment if you had to repair your equipment. So let's pretend I have to repair my stuff. I actually have to repair my stuff. So first I need to unequip it. Uh, put it here. 
I repair. And there we go. Well, I can do that directly, actually. There we go. I repair my crossbow. Perfect. Oh, yes. I need to repair my tool. Otherwise, I broke. It might be uh, more expensive. Let them broke. Uh, this sir uh, will help you to craft things so you can refine for instance some a uh, flax in here I could choose what I want to do out of it do I want some clothes oh, which will be useful if you are a tailor bowstring or threads hmm I don't know. Well, I, I will try. I don't know. I, I will do that. There we go. I have linen thread. I wanted to make some oil. Hmm. Too bad. There we go. Maybe I can become a Fletcher, so I can create my own arrows and bolts. That could be a good idea. But in general, when I play this type of game, I like to create my own consumable. Ah! What is this? Pine sap. Cool. Really nice. Alright, let's kill this tag. We need to take some uh, level. So why? This tag is covered with moss. You will tell me. What's going on in this land? Why are the rabbits full of thorn and the stag full of moss and vine? Oh no, it's a level 2. What have I done? I'm not paying attention because I didn't have my nameplates on. Oh no. Okay, let's try. Let's try. Let's be smart this time. This time we need to win, guys. This time I cannot let this bug win. I will have to run and, and heal at some point. Okay, bandage. You can apply your bandage while moving, which is quite convenient. And it's important, whoever, if you are bandaging someone else, you will need to stay in range, which can be quite tricky. So this is really where our game is showing off that group play and coordination is important. Also not running into... Ah, there we go. We did one and we're still level one, so that's great. So we've just been better this time. Nice. And that was the end of our solo adventure. In the next episode, you will see Eloa in Drindin exploring together. Yes, thank you for joining us, and we hope you enjoyed. Please like and subscribe, and then share. Um, if you guys really enjoyed what you saw, you can always pre-order the game on our website, and you can join us uh, during our test times every weekend until we launch the game. And on Wednesdays, when the devs play with the community members, uh, we'd love to hear your feedback directly. So please join us. 
Uh, please help us in our launch efforts as we go forward into 2022, and we hope you enjoyed. Take care. I can subscribe and join us on our social media. Every links are written down below. Thank you so very much. Take care of yourself. See you soon. Bye, everybody. Bye.